Ryan Rosenblatt from SB Nation Soccer, and this week we have a full slate of UEFA Champions League matches, beginning with eight of them on Tuesday. Now, what's the big match? Juventus hosts Shakhtar Donetsk. Yeah, that's right. That is a great match, and it doesn't seem like it at first. It doesn't jump off the page because, well, Juventus has been out of the spotlight for a few years ever since their match-fixing scandal, while Shakhtar Donetsk is a Ukrainian team. They don't really stand out, but this is a great match, and look at what these two teams are doing, trying to get a feel for how good they really are. Juventus is got an away draw to Chelsea too, too. Well done to them, and they are coming off of a complete demolition of Roma over the weekend. Looks good like that. A big main team playing well, you'd think that's great, but Serie A's down. It's not what it used to be, and being at the top of it does not necessarily make you a great team. This Juventus team still has holes. Meanwhile, Shakhtar, well, they're still a Ukrainian team. They haven't really tested themselves against the best. Now, they're top of the Ukrainian league. They're playing fantastic right now, and it's all thanks to Henrik Mik Hitaryan. Now, you look at him, and he's got 13 goals in 10 league matches, and he scored both their goals and their 2-0 win to open Champions League action. And he's going to get a chance to go with this Juventus defense, which is good, but it's not impenetrable. And it's going to be a real test of this defense to see if they can hold off a hot striker like Mitte Tarja. It's going to be really tough. It's going to be kind of a battle there to see who could control the ball and who could kind of keep the pressure on each way. But it's worth keeping on. Are either of these teams really great teams? Probably not, but how good is good? We know they're both good, but how good is that? We don't know yet. This match will tell us a lot, and even though Juventus looks like a team they should win this, they're at home, they're playing turn, should be a win? Maybe not. Shakhtar is a very good team, and they're ready to open some eyes. They've made some runs in the Champions League before. Keep an eye on that one. Elsewhere, Barcelona, another big team that could have some trouble. Now, they did win their opening Champions League match, but they've struggled there, and in their last two La Liga matches, They've had to make furious comebacks at the end just to get there. Over the weekend, Cesc Fabregas had to take an awful dive and get a complete BS red card against Gary Medell just to get Sevilla down to 10 men and key that comeback. This is not a team playing well. They're really, really struggling at the back, and they're going up against a Benfica team that is playing very well right now. You'd think they would take a huge step back. They sold Javi Garcia. They sold Axel Witzel at the transfer deadline. That should make them worse, but it's not right now. They're really playing well. Nemanja Matic has stepped in and is doing a great job in that midfield and has really kept them ticking. This is Benfica team that rested all their midfielders over the weekend. They're fresh. They're ready to go. Don't be shocked if they can grab some points from Barcelona. That's a match where Barcelona's really just asking to get picked off. Benfica can do it. Another team, again, a big team who isn't playing well right now, Manchester United. Now, they didn't look good earlier in the year when they were getting results, but they were getting them. Over the weekend, they got exposed by Tottenham. And Yes, it took some luck for Spurs to be able to hold them off the end, shots hit the bar, there's some questionable penalty calls, but Manchester United, again, did not look good. This is a team that is really struggling to figure out how to play around a midfield that, frankly, just isn't very good anymore. They're still dependent on Paul Scholes. That really tells you all you need to know about this Red Devils midfield. And Cluj went away to Braga in their first match, and they got a 2-0 win. Cluj isn't a great team. They're still a Romanian team. They're still kind of limited. But they're a team that is really strong through the middle, and that's something that kind of expose what Manchester United struggles with. It's a great matchup for Cluj, who at home, it wouldn't be a shock at all if they get a draw, even a win. Manchester United is very vulnerable right now. Cluj could jump all over that. Those are three big matches. Keep an eye also on Valencia Lille. Now, Valencia's midfield really banged up right now. Ever Benega, big name who's out. He kind of does a lot for them in the middle when he's fit, but he's not playing along with several other players. Lille just playing really poorly right now. But if either one of these teams gets fit, gets in form later on, they're a team that is good enough to make a run, get to the knockout stages, cause some problems there. They just need to hang around and deal with these fitness and form problems right now. That's a big one to see who can maybe grab three points they probably don't even deserve because neither team's going to play that well. Uh, but that may pay off later down the road. Those are the big matches to keep an eye on. As we said, there's eight of them. It's a full Tuesday of soccer action. The best Europe has to offer, so make sure you tune in and head over to SB Nation Soccer for all your coverage.